in summer 2021, Tokyo Olympics was held. Tokyo. Tokyo. In a way we couldn't have ever imagined eight years ago due to the pandemic. Unfortunately, games were held with not spectators in major cities, unexpected problems occurred one after another, and the event received many objections in and outside of Japan. However, I'd like to share with you two things behind this Tokyo Olympics that are not known by many people. So let's start. First, let me talk about something a little negative, which is about the opening and closing ceremonies of the Olympics. To be honest, these ceremonies were not what many people have expected, including myself, because we know there were original plans for these ceremonies. So let me talk about it, focusing on the original plans for the opening ceremony, which was revealed recently. The plan was created by the team led by award winning choreographer Mikiko, who worked with well known performers like Perfume and Baby Metal. The presentation given to IOC last year included an image of the famous Japanese animated film Akira. The main character Canada's web bike circles near Tokyo. Followed by the performance by the famous artists and the entertainers, and the sports were to be introduced by CG image of Super Mario from Nintendo. Mikiko's team had around 500 people, consisted with elite creators and performers. They worked hard, and the whole concept and plans were almost completed. Also, 213 kimonos created to represent each country competing in the Olympics called Kimono Project was supposed to be included. But unfortunately, these original plans were not used during the ceremony due to the various issues led by the postponement of the Olympic, such as cost cutting. Simplifying of the event, and many other issues within the companies that handled this project. Mikiko resigned from the team, and the plans had to be changed to the actual ones that we saw. Many people say they wished the original plans went ahead, and personally, I also feel sad about it. But with all the troubles and challenges they faced, the actual opening ceremony went very smoothly. And many people got excited to see the athletes' entrance with the video game music with the placard using manga speech bubbles, conducted in the Japanese alphabetical order. Even though I'm not a big manga or game fan, I was happy to see something original to Japan. And when the human pictogram started, first I wasn't very impressed. But when they dropped the racket by mistake, it made me laugh. And I thought it was fun and something different from the past. So, all in all, I think all the people who were involved in the ceremony did a great job for doing what they could do in such a difficult situation. There is another thing I'd love to share with you. It's a football match my family went as spectators in Miyagi Prefecture, where I'm from. While 97% of the games were hosted with not spectators, there were a few venues outside of Tokyo that hosted games with them, as the areas were less affected by the infections, and Miyagi was one of them. So, my parents, my sister, and her husband went to the men's quarter final at Miyagi Stadium. Miyagi is one of the three prefectures in Tohoku that were hard hit by the 2011 earthquake and tsunami disasters. And Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics were meant to showcase the recovery from the devastation and show appreciation to the world for their support during the disaster. So, despite oppositions from the locals, the governor Murai decided to accept spectators with the strict infection control measures. Ticket holders used the dedicated shuttle bus directly from the major station and the venue. And they were asked not to go to the restaurants or the entertainment areas before and after the game to prevent any potential spread of the virus infection. Please 
There were about 5,500 people, 11% of its capacity. The ticket costed 20,000 yen, about 200 US dollars each, for the good seats. The audience was asked not to sing or chant. So everyone clapped their hands to cheer the players. To be honest, my parents or my sister don't know much about football, but my sister's husband likes it. And he told me he was happy to be there to hear the player's voice and other sound that were not usually heard in the normal games. My sister said when I won the tickets two years ago, I expected to see the game with more wild cheers. But now that the situation changed, I wasn't sure if I could enjoy it. But the audience raised some voice with surprise when they see some actions. And cheered with clapping for both teams. So I enjoyed it more than expected. And happy to be there to feel the atmosphere. And they were amazed to see the staff doing their best to support the game. And there were so many helpful and friendly volunteers. My sister said she really wished the international visitors were there to experience it. This is Chun Sam, a national team supporter who is famous for Chon Mange Sam Lai Hair. He's been a volunteer for the affected areas in Tohoku. He and other volunteers prepared the banners in 10 languages to express gratitude for the support received from all over the world and express hopes for the future. Even though there were no spectators came from overseas, they hoped the banners would be seen on TV. He says that the international event is not only the place to support the players from our own countries, but the place to interact with others. And we can cheer each other even from far apart during this pandemic, like when people in Tohoku were encouraged in the time of disaster. He also thanked Miyagi for giving them the opportunity to express the messages to the world. Many people thought holding the Olympics was not possible and it should be stopped. But the ancient Olympics are believed to have started during the epidemic and conflicts with the hope of overcoming them. It's easy to just give up or not try. But we can learn various things from the challenges, become stronger and more compassionate. Tokyo 2020 may not be the best Olympics ever, but I think it's the one to be remembered. It reminded us that sport gives us energy and unites people to get through difficulties. I really appreciate all the athletes who did their best in this situation, and I thank everyone who were involved in the Olympics to make it happen. I also wish the best of luck in the Paralympics starting next week. Thank you very much for watching till the end. Arigatou gozaimashita.